Hey guys, Airgun Angie with Airgun Web, and this is the Evanex Airspeed from Airgun Pro Shop, and it is 30 caliber. I had the 22, now I've got the 30. It has an external um, dial where you can adjust the power setting from low power all the way up to high power. So I've shot it over the Crony, and guys, I found out some very interesting results. I shot the Evanex Airspeed over the Crony on high power to see what I was getting for velocity with the 44 grain pellets, which are right here. Those are JSB exact 30 caliber 44 grain pellets. So I shot those high power and low power, and this is the results. When you buy it, you get it fresh out the box, you're gonna get on high power somewhere around mid eights and low power about mid sevens. But guys, as you shoot it more and more and more, and this came from Airgun Pro Shop, which they have already shot it quite a bit themselves. So the more you shoot it, the quicker the hammer spring wears out. So the FPS actually goes down as the hammer spring wears out. So you're actually gonna start seeing around 750 on high power and between 650 and seven on low power, which is what I got with the 44 grain pellets. Okay guys, before I go any further, I wanna tell you guys something that I found very, very cool. So I have my Evanex Airspeed 30. I also have the Rex 45 rifle and the Rex 45 pistol. And I had a jam issue during the shooting of this video with my Evanex 30. And I really honestly thought that it was messed up so bad that I would have to send it back to the shop and wait for it to come back before I got to take it to the range again. But I called Mr. Corey at Airgun Pro Shop, and he actually talked me through. He said, it's okay, Angie, get your tools out. Let's take this thing apart. And I'm thinking, me, Airgun Angie, take this apart because what I do is I get a product, take it out the box, go test it, tell you what I think, and then that's pretty much it. But as far as fixing internals on air guns, not this girl. So Corey said, it's okay, it's super simple. So what we did was we took the whole thing apart. Um, he gave me an option. I could either degas it and we could do it one way or leave the air in the tank and just remove the tank, the barrel, the action, the trigger, the safety, all of that, which I thought was pretty cool because I actually got to see the internals of the guns, gun and how it works. So I did all that with Corey on the phone. It was super, super simple, guys. And that is one thing that I wanna tell you guys about the Evanex air guns, is that they are super simple to fix. I'm actually gonna be getting a new hammer spring for this because I think this one has relaxed a little bit too much. It's not pushing the power that it had been. But hammer spring replacement, super easy, guys, especially with the Evanex guns. So that's what went on with the airspeed, and I was excited to have gone through the process with Corey at Airgun Pro Shop. I learned a lot. Corey got to help me, so thank you so much, Corey. I would like to just let you guys know that, you know, you get an air gun, it has an issue, you gotta ship it back to the manufacturer or the company that you bought it from, wait for them to fix it, send it back to you, where guys, this, I actually took it apart and I fixed it myself. And all I really had to have was a set of Allen wrenches and a flathead screwdriver. That's it, I was done. So very awesome, very simple, very easy to work on. Awesome, cool air guns. Thank you, Air Gun Pro Shop. With that said, let's get back to the video. Besides power testing and seeing what I got on each setting, I also wanted to see if there was a difference in accuracy. So hey guys, whoops. Hey guys, here in the shop and we have wet weather outside, so I did not want to take all my equipment out there and get it wet. So I've actually opened up the back door to my shop and I'm actually not sure how far away it is. Let me get my Hawk range finder and check it out, see what the yardage is. So from here to, it's 40 yards from here to the target. So I'm actually gonna be testing um, the Evanex Airspeed 30 cal. I've got two different types of pellets. And the cool thing about this gun is that it has an external um, wheel where you can adjust the power setting. So I'm gonna shoot it on low power with both types of pellets. They're both JSB, one's 44 grain, the other one's 50 grain. Today I'm gonna to test both of them on both high power and low power. 
and see if it makes a difference in accuracy for the pellets. So I guess that's it for now, guys. Let's go ahead and get started with this. So these are the 44 grains and it is on low power. I'll go for the third row down just to give them some space. Mm. That was a beautiful group. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so this is the third mag with the 50 grain JSBs. Let's check her out. The last one, the last group was absolutely beautiful. So guys, I am convinced that the 50 grain pellets do fantastic on a lower power setting. Now let's check them both out at a higher power setting. Okay, so I got a new target up. This is the Evanex Airspeed. We're gonna test the 44 grains on high power. We've already tested both of them, the 44 grains and the 50 grain on low power. The 50 grain did the best on low power. But now we're gonna test them on high power and see if there's a difference. Here we go. Okay. Not very good. I think that was seven. I'm not sure. I think that was seven. Okay, so it was not the best. Last mag with the 44s. Well, that one wasn't bad. what I'm talking about. That was beautiful. Oh yeah, smacking them babes, smacking them. And this is a semi-auto guys, and I would say for 
Most animals that you're gonna hunt with a 30 cal, those shots are within the kill zone, plus the advantage of quick follow-up shots. All right, this is gonna be the last mag of the 50 grains on high power. are definitely kill zone shots. So this is actually the target that I have um, from the low power settings and these up top are the 44 grain JSBs and I only shot three mags. So and what I noticed was by the second mag, the first mag, if I fill it up to 225 bar, the first mag is not that great. It's kind of spread out a little bit, but by the second mag, it's doing a little better, which the 44s, I did have one go off paper, actually a couple go off paper, a couple in the same hole. Um, so on the second mag and the third mag, they did okay. I mean, if you look at it as far as a hunting gun, that's going to be the kill zone of anything you're going to hunt with a 30 cal. So still not bad. And it is semi-auto. Let me remind you guys of that. So that's a quick follow-up shot in case the first one doesn't take them down immediately. Um, and down here are the 55 grains. Now this again is the first mag and I don't think that's where its sweet spot is, but check out. The second one, bam, that thing ate it up. So, and the third, definitely much better than the first. So this is on low power guys. So then I took and I did the same test after I adjusted it onto high power. So these are the 44s. This is the first mag again, kind of a bit more spread out. Um, and this is the second mag getting better. This is the third mag. Absolutely beautiful. And those are the 44s. And I did think before that the 44s were its favorite, but I think I might have changed my mind. I'm not sure. So this is the 50s. Um, first mag, a little spread out. Second mag, beautiful. Third mag, a little bit more spread out. So first mag, second mag, third mag, still guys within the kill zone, semi-auto. This again is at 40 yards. So, um, that's only two pallets that I've tested in here, hopefully. And that's the only 30 cals that I have in my possession. Hopefully I will be getting more. So that's about it guys for the power testing and the accuracy testing. I would say that both pellets did equally fine on both settings. Um, of course, this gun has a sweet spot and Maxville is not its sweet spot. So uh, it's not regulated guys. So you're gonna have just like any unregulated gun, you're gonna have kind of a climb, it gets better and then it declines. So same thing here guys, it gets better and then it declines. So. So guys, if you would like to find out more about this gun, go to www.airgunproshop.com or www.evanexusa.com. I believe this comes in 22, 25, and 30 caliber. So you have a few different options. And there's also a bullpup version, the Airspeed Max. So definitely go check that out too. That's it for today, guys. I am Airgun Angie with Airgun Web. Thank you all so much for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. Let's go to the range, guys. Let's do some paperwork and some power setting testing. Say that fast about five times. Power setting testing, power setting testing, power setting testing, power setting testing, power setting testing. Wow, I did it. Now you try it.